for our tribute build. Uh, we've got the frame all together and we've got the interior pretty much done. Uh, but the interior I've laid in some uh, it's not going to come through on camera but I laid in some uh, Windland Scenic simulated grass with some um, thinned out Elmer's glue painted on the floor and I sprayed it a flat black to simulate the carpet texture and we've taken our console and done up the center trim and the ex extreme metal chrome and I've since grafted in the shifter basil automatic shifter from the dark GTS kit and we've mounted up our Gramps style steering wheel in here that Blade has in his car and uh, we've also gone in here, I'm not going to show it right now, I'm going to wait until this thing's done to throw all that out. But uh, we've got the, uh, the gauge panel lit up in the dashboard, which I've done that with some, uh, some green 1.8 millimeter LEDs that have been bedded behind the dash. And I used the uh, kit decals and some extra decals behind the gauges on a piece of uh, clear acetate. So when our light comes through, we get the gauges lit up, and I sealed all that in with some uh, hot glue and light block the whole back of it with a uh, black paint. And we've got our wiring running down the side here, which these are still bare here. We're going to be tying in some other lighting to this once we put the car together. But that's pretty much the interior. We've got all of our, our silver trim on the door panels done. And the uh, seats themselves are done in more of a semi-gloss black, and I went down inside the pleats with some um, some flat matte black to kind of give a little differentiation there, you know, to make those stand out a little bit. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but it comes through in person pretty good. And uh, on the frame, we've already seen the engine before. We've got the engine mounted up now, which uh, none of the headers would work. The uh, headers that came with this kit were for Hemi and the angles were just way off so I decided to just go with the stock exhaust manifolds and I wasn't too worried about it too much because um, from what I remember they don't even really show the engine in the movie what's in the car but uh, from some research there was basically a plain Jane 383 so this is more than adequate and uh, we've got the, the bottom looking pretty good. I uh, took the mufflers and wrapped those with some uh, chrome foil tape and, and burnished them with some steel wool to make them kind of look like a stainless steel buffed aluminum kind of looking deal. And we've got the exhaust itself done up in a real dark grayish steel. And uh, we took the uh, rear end cover and did that in the uh, extreme metal chrome. And we've got our, our rear shocks done up in white to look like the Gabriel hijackers. And the um, the kit supplied risers for the rear end gave it just about the right kind of rake like Blade's car has. And we've also put on our centerline drag wheels and tires, which that was a little crazy. I had to do a little work there to get those to work right because the rims were kind of deep and the kit backing plates didn't want to work out right. So I had to take a lot off of those to get everything to line up right. But we're, we're looking pretty good now with that. And everything's obviously fitting together pretty good. And also, we've got our, we've got our rear tail panel done up. I've done the, the chrome trim detail on there. And we've got our tail lights put in. The little chrome buckets with the red lenses. And I've also gone back in here and mounted up some... Uh, three millimeter warm white LEDs behind them some 470 ohm resistors and we've got 30 gauge wire coming off of here which that's going to tie in over here when we put the car together and those are going to light up with the, with the dashboard and the rest of the car and we've also got our got our grill pretty much done up I've gone in and done the, the detail painting and we've got our UV vampire killer lights mounted in here. We've got those all working with the lenses in there and I've frosted behind those with a light coat of, of white with a little tinge of purple in there. And we've got the uh, 
We've got four SMDs behind here, 3020 SMDs to throw out our light from those and they're, they're looking pretty good. And uh, I don't know, a lot of times I see a lot of chargers, everybody misses painting this this inner border here that's supposed to be kind of a uh, like a grayish color like a grayish argent color and then the grill itself is, is black with the silver trim around it so we've got him looking pretty good and uh, last thing uh, we've got the body done up blade Trinity style which from what I remember the car in Trinity was more of a fl more of a flat this isn't totally flat, this is a mat. It's, a, it's actually a mat with a little bit of gloss thrown in, but it pretty much, I think it's a good simulation of the way the car looked in Trinity. And we've got our scoop all mounted on, and I went around the seam on that with some Viejo putty to kind of seal that up. And uh, we've also, we had a Chrysler Performance badge here that got taken off. And the rest of the emblems weren't on the car, except for back here in the tail panel. We had to take that off because I noticed on the car it's been pretty much de-chromed, you know, like from for emblems and whatnot. You know, you still have your window trim, but the emblems were all taken off. And uh, I guess that's about it right now for the blade car. Until we get a little further, we should shouldn't be too long before we get this thing done. There's there's not a whole lot left to do. I'm still waiting on one. One thing we need for the car, which it did not come with, which is some hood pins for the for the liftoff hood. So I've got those ordered, and they should be here, hopefully in short order. So that's the only real holdup right now. <coughs> and we also have a blade figure that's going to go with the car, so that'll kind of add to the add to the pop of the whole deal. And uh, real quick here. We got this guy, which I showed in one of my other videos. is one of the kits that was given to me to build up here at the shop. And uh, I got some friends who know who they are uh, that I hang out with on Uvu doing some building and stuff. And uh, we kind I kind of took a vote amongst friends and out of three kits that I was thinking about building up pretty soon for the channel, this one won out. So. I'm going to be building this up soon. I'm going to get started on this pretty soon. Uh, the first video on this, I might already have a couple of things done. I won't get too far into it. But uh, what I'm doing with this, as you can see, it's a hot rod funny car, which I don't, I'm not sure, but I don't think there ever really was a hot rod funny car of this year. But uh, NPC also has a, um, a car that was a real car, which is the Connie Kalita Bounty Hunter. And what I've done is I found a really good deal on the decal sheet to turn this into the Connie Kalita Bounty Hunter. So that's what we're going to do. I just ordered the decals earlier. So as soon as they get here, we'll have those in hand. And I'm already getting some reference pictures together of how the frame and, and his car generally looks. So we're going to be building this up as the Bounty Hunter. And uh, I guess for now... That's about it. Um, I can't really say what's going to be next. It'll either be the beginning of the Bounty Hunter or it'll be another update on Blade. So uh, I guess stay tuned for whatever pops up next and uh, take care and peace.